Hey fellow explorers, it's me, Mario. Let's talk a bit about rope. I should write a love letter to rope. It has grown on me and it has become one of the best items that I try to actively chase in a game, which is pretty different because at the start I thought it wasn't worth much. Why did it grow on me? Um, well, let's consider a few things. First, Card advantage is really hard to get your hands onto in Arnak. That's pretty much only Puck Donkey that lets you draw two cards with no question asked. Rope is not card advantage, it's card filtering. And why is it so good? That has something to do with the fact that I fell out of love with exciling cards, like Axe, like Torch and other cards. Basically, yeah, exiling cards early, it's really good, but the rate at which the exiling cards do that does not satisfy me. I think it's not that great, and you start exiling cards from the second round. So, why is the rope um, this good? Because you can just get it and discard the fear card if you have it, and draw two fresh new cards, which is already good value. But it's even better if you're drawing into value cards, which should be the case if you're working a bit on your deck. So, basically, you can play with rope and don't bother too much about exiling all the fear cards with other um, underwhelming cards. Um, the other cards are a bit underwhelming because you have to draw the exiling card along with the fear card to make it work. Also, the timing is a bit iffy. While with the rope, you can just... I mean... There, you don't need to have fear cards in your head to make it very good. Uh, just drawing two better cards while discarding a funding or an exploration is going to be pretty good. And it's really hard in Arnak to find yourself with no funding or exploration or fear card in a round. So the rope is pretty much always good. Uh, it can become worse when you have like a small deck in a small deck, it's not great. It's still called filtering, but you might run out of your deck because you um, have other sources of card draw. It doesn't go well along with other card draws. Um, it doesn't go well along too many exiling cards. So there are like cases in which rope isn't the best, but normally it's going to deliver. And again, try it out by yourself because. I was really surprised by how it made my deck go smoothly. Like, I, I was having better rounds consistently. And that's pretty important in Arnak, because when you go and buy items, your cup, like, um, the chance that you have to score high goes higher, so the cup is higher, but sometimes the floor um, goes a bit lower than just going for the reserve truck. Um, just because sometimes you have great hands, but sometimes you have bad hands, and there's variance in them, you know? So, um, you want to smooth that out, and the rope is a cheap way to do that. I mean, two coins uh, are not much, are not that many, and yeah, it only gives you one point, but again, the ability, it's just great. It's going to lower the overall um, variance of your deck, and that's that's pretty good, and that's something you should strive for. So yeah, get rope if you can, uh, it's going to be good, and it's going to leave you satisfied, try it out.